Well, we're back with another little project on the F-150. Little murder truck is going to get uh, the tail end lowered. Uh, you can see from some of these pictures here that uh, it definitely is too tall in the tail. I, I don't, I don't care for that. Look at the space between the tire and the wheel well. That's a little too much for me. So we're going to uh, lower the tail end. And how we're going to do that is I bought this little kit here from Max Track. And it says it's a one and a half to two inch drop on this. And the reason I bought this kit is because they say that there's really no cutting involved. But if you get into the aesthetics of it here, into the details, uh, they do mention cutting the rail on the bed of the truck and maybe having to even lift up the bed to get the bolts out uh, from the spring purchase. I got under there this morning and I took a real good look and I measured up where our new shackles, lowering shackles are. These are nice, they have polygraphite, and they got a little grease fitting there. So we're gonna replace the factory ones with these. I think there's enough room to get the spring up where there's a space between the bed and the frame. And it looks like the spring will actually move up out of the shackle, I can get the bolt out that way to, to take the old shackle off. And I think we're gonna be pretty good there. So we'll uh, go along here and Play around and see how much work we actually have to do and how much modification we need if any and hopefully we'll get the tail end on this dropped a little bit we've got a nice set of 18 inch wheels and tires that i think would look pretty good these are 17s these are good for winter um, these will be my spare wheels and tires i even saw a set of 20s that i think would look nice and fill out that wheel well really well but it may be a little too much so we'll see what the truck looks like once we get her lowered and uh, we'll make a decision after that. So let the games begin. Well, it just got serious. As you can see, we uh, actually have to make a cut in the framework. And I'll show you. We got to get up in here. And the shackle bolt on the top here hits the bed in the frame. And even if I lift up the bed to get the bolt out, it's still going to rub and hit. So this has to be cut out. And I got to get up underneath there and make a notch in the bed rail. And then we can get the shackle and the bolts out. But uh, yeah, Ford did a good job uh, with their hiding of their bolts. So here we go. We be cutting. Yes, yes, that was, uh, I call BS on this kit. Um, actually, it's more forward than anything. They put the bolts in in such a way you do actually have to lift the bed to get the bolts out. And for the shackles to go in properly and correctly, you also have to cut a little metal because they will uh, reach up into that area. These are the original shackles, and as you can see, they are much shorter than the other ones were um, <clears throat> definitely have to unbolt the bed take all the bolts out and you gotta jack it up prop it up <clears throat> forward so here's what happened underneath <sighs> kind of hard to see but you might be able to I actually had to section out a piece of rail now well, let's see if we can see it so I actually went through, re-undercoated everything. Um, at, once I got the bed back in place, now it's resting where it should be. That little piece is cut out and you need to do that just to get the bolt out of the spring because it's way, way up in there in the backside. So it's a little difficult to get to. Um, I can get my wrench on there and I impacted the main bolts off and there's a little opening here in the frame rail that you can get to and put your wrench inside to get to that bolt. It's a little difficult to see, I know, I'm sorry. There it is in there. And I just used these, my gear wrench and my 12 millimeter socket. There's a hex right here. So you can just kind of use these to draw the bolts through once you get the shackle in place. I hung the shackle on the spring 
dropped it down to the perch. Um, they're a little tight. The weight of the truck really doesn't push it into place enough. So I ended up having to kind of, you know, pry bar it a little bit um, on the spring. There's a there's a little hole up there in the frame. You can kind of put something against there, a hammer uh, handle or something wood, something you don't mar it up. And uh, knock it down as far as you can go. And then I used my regular tool to my pinion tool just to kind of push those into place and get the shackles kind of where they needed to be um, the bolt threaded about part way it was enough that I could just get a thread or two on and pull it through with the nut so I'm going to button this all up I'm going to grease my shackle and uh, I put a little grease around the bushings and stuff like that before I put it together just to make sure it doesn't squeak. There was Greek grease on the stock shackles, so I greased these anyway. But, all right, let's get, uh, get this done and get back to work. Here's a great comparison. This is the bumper before, it's at 24 inches, and then the ride height's down to just below 23, and that's before I even bounced on the bumper or took the truck for a ride to let everything settle. Um, being there's only 100 miles on the truck, everything's going to settle. So here's the after where it's much more level. And to go one step further, I did a line comparison. And you can see where the nose had to pivot up as the rear end went down. So once everything got a little more settled, you can see how much more level after that kit this truck really is. So that looks great. I'm happy with it. I think we're going to stick with it. And... Uh, we're going to move on to the exhaust, the cold air kit, and some wheels and tires. I think we're going to call that done for the summer, and then we'll uh, get back with some other projects. So be sure to stay tuned, and uh, we'll try to come up with some more fun stuff and some more content for you to watch. Take care now.